Colton RV creates fantastic memories that will change your life forever. Have you dreamed of getting into glamping in your own RV? Colton RV can help you take that step into the future with a new or used RV. Talk with a Colton RV team member online, by phone, or in person and see hundreds of RVs, from tent trailers to motorhomes and everything in between. It's all about great selection, unequaled service, and low prices. Open late at two convenient locations, one in Tonawanda and one in Orchard Park, New York. Now is the time to see the future at Colton RV. Want to take your camping to the next level? Then why not try glamping? Welcome to RV Glamping Adventures, where you can have a little glamour with your travel adventures. Please join your hosts, Neil and Kathy, as they share RV glamping information, RV park reviews, product recommendations, and so much more. Here's Neil and Kathy. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of RV Glamping Adventures with Neil and Kathy. I'm Neil. And I'm Kathy. This is actually a busy time of year for us. We're getting ready for the start of our RV season, which it's actually pretty early for us this it's year. It's really early for us. Only a couple weeks away. Yeah, we've got about, what, 30 days or so, 28 days until we head out on our first trip. Yeah, it's pretty early for us because usually Easter break is when we kind of kick off our season. Um, and Easter's early this usually year. Usually it's in April. Yeah. This year it's like the third ish week of march somewhere in there so we're going to be heading down to uh walt disney world to stay at the fort wilderness campgrounds um to spend some time at disney and also visit with our oldest son who's living down there but i had some you know mixed feelings about going so early i mean i'm glad to go oh absolutely i love that we don't have to wait march always always to me like waiting to go is the longest month i mean imagine we'd be waiting another like 60 days right now i know imagine my i have an app right down right now with the count down going on and i mean there'd be another 30 something plus days out onto that so it's sort of like yeah. woohoo we're leaving soon but uh, i was a little nervous planning this trip knowing that easter break was going to be so early because i was a little worried about the weather you know i mean usually by april when we normally head out for the first trip you know the worst of the storms are kind oh, of yeah. over you get those weird freak march storms so i was like oh boy i hope this works out for us so and like we've had a really great winter it's up until great. the last week or two yeah so I'm like, I hope we're not getting it all now for the next few weeks for what we missed. I'm being positive. I think it's going to be great. El Nino is going to, has been so good to us this year, which I don't know if it's a good thing to be happy about global warming, but <laughs> it, it's been good. I haven't minded it. No, it's, I'm not <laughs> going to lie. lie. <laughs> no, it's been good. So anyway, we're really busy getting ready to go, and there's lots to do, even though we still have a couple of weeks. I actually kind of felt the other day a little bit behind the ball because I haven't really thought about it because I'm not used to having to think about it for another month or so. Yeah. But there's some things that Neil and I do every year to sort of get ready for the season. Oh, you mean the table? Yeah, the table. Kathy, every year, puts together a table, which is fantastic, and it's a great way for us to stay organized. But it's she sets out the table. It's the beginning of the season table, I guess. What would you call it? Just getting ready. No, oh, that sounds good too. But <laughs> it's, it's not like Festivus or something. It, to me, it's like it's a cha- it's a beginning of a new time. So it's awesome. Oh boy, I know it's did corny. Did you take your meds? Today? I did. I did. <laughs> um, no, what we start doing is sort of what we call our stash. So a lot of people, it's kind of funny how many other people that we know do this. But you know, we sort of I don't know if it's just to spend some time getting ready and it gets us sort of excited for the trip. But I start. Really, sort of, our, actually, we should call it our stockpile. It is a stockpile. Yeah, stash sounds... Well, it's similar. It's a little bit. But we basically start stocking up on all the things that... What I hope to do during the RV season is keep it as simple as possible. It's sort of the motto I live by. Yeah. So I like to get the RV at a place where all you got to do for each trip, because we've got a lot of trips planned. So to keep it simple, I want to keep as much in the RV that I possibly can, as far as like staple goods and things like that. So we just had a huge grocery shopping, which was was not just our weekly shopping, but we did our staple or uh, stash or stockpile shopping. We started it. It was big. It was, uh, I think it was at 520. We dropped about 520, but that was with our groceries. That was with groceries, but that's a lot. I I don't feel like we bought much to eat this week. No, (laughs) but when we talk about like the staple, really it's mostly like shampoos and things like that, right? It's all the shampoos and... 
we still didn't buy detergent. You know, it's all this stuff we keep throughout Cleaners the season. And things. We bring it in during the winter, so yeah. it's like we got and we use it up obviously in in our house. So it's like getting all the cleaners, the lotions, toothpaste, shampoo, soaps, toothbrushes, deodorants. I want to have to, like I said, keep it simple. I want to have to pack as little as possible other than, like, that stuff just needs to be there. I even like to have my makeup. You know, if I can have makeup, hairspray. I'm a big hairspray user. (laughs) Like, (laughs) all those kinds of things. So all we got to do is put in our clothes and the food that we need for our trip. At least in my department, that's sort of what I worry about. Um, so we just did that, and that's like a big step. That yeah, that's that's the I beginning the stages. Yeah. yeah. So we got the table going, the Festivus table. It's I guess Neil would call it. I love it. It's it, to me, it's like you know that we're starting. Yeah. We're, we're getting ready. I mean, I've already got the appointment made for us to get the the uh, our RV unwinterized and or, or de-winterized. de-winterized, unwinterized, <laughs> and then get all this stuff done, tires and all that, check the batteries, all that stuff. So we've got that appointment, but seeing the table, that makes it real to me. So the other thing I like to do is, that's also part of, I don't know, it's become, it's like tradition, I guess, is I like to get the first aid kit together. Again, it's one of those things I don't leave out in the RV. We bring it in and use up whatever, you know, medications and things like that throughout the year we just bring it home and use it through the winter so i like to take it out and and sort of reorganize it make a little list of things that i need to get it's also a really good time to check the expiration dates on medications you know and all, even like on lotions and i sort of take that opportunity to you know just sort of go through it make sure i have everything i need get what i don't have get new things of what i am going to need you know for the family and really, we kind of go off of the guidelines from the Red Cross um, Association for like what to put in the first aid kit. You can go buy one. I just like to do one that's specific to our needs, plus you know obviously what they would recommend. But you know, I, I did a little video on it and put it. Yeah, on, the video is great. It's on YouTube and Facebook, right? Right, and um, you know, it kind of leads me into what we want to talk about today, and that's just the RV community and what that means. Um, but just you know, getting to that, it's just. I kind of want to throw it out there to you guys to make sure you're getting out there to our Facebook page, our Twitter. Um, You can find us on Facebook under RV Glamping Adventures. Twitter, we're RV Glampers. Same with on the Instagram. We started Instagram a couple weeks ago, and that's RV Glampers. Twitter, we got that. We said that. Twitter, what else? What am I missing? Uh, Our our website. Our website. www.rvglampingadventures.com. Kathy puts out a great blog. Um, a couple times couple a month. Times a month. Yeah, and I'll throw yeah. our videos on there as well. YouTube. I think actually, Did I say YouTube, 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 RV, RV glamping adventures yeah. there. But you know what we kind of wanted to talk not only just about yeah we're getting excited about the trip is on the countdown now but you know we just kind of wanted to build a little bit on something we brought up last week which in the show which is about you know just that we're really starting to see things really start to happen yeah on you know with just the people that have been we've been connecting with that you know through all the different social media sites through our um our podcasts and and all the things that we're trying to put out there you know and i just we just sort of wanted to address you know just what a great community thing is going on and and that to us is just not surprising because that's just our viewers our viewers are the nicest people they are the best they are absolutely and the thing is with the the community number one kathy and i want to say thank you very much for all of you who write to us and 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 comment on our Facebook and and give us suggestions. We really really appreciate it because you guys make it all fun and give us you you can you actually give us a lot of ideas and you help us to to learn to move forward. And I like that about people. Well, I, I think where we're trying to go with this whole thing that we're doing um, is not just to share and talk about you know what why we started doing this is it was in first and foremost it was a really fun way for us to. I don't know, just sort of keep a memory of everything that we had going on. Like it made us really put an effort into taping things, you know, videotaping our family, doing fun things, pictures. And, you know, to me, it was my own video scrapbook. So, you know, I didn't know if anybody would ever care or be interested or whatever, but it was just a way for me to kind of keep memories going like that. And then things just sort of started to happen and opportunities came up and lots just sort of I don't know. It just the the wheels just started to turn. So what we've gotten out of it is just meeting a lot of really great people. Really, really nice people, yeah. And you know, we've really started to see, like we said in the last show, there's been just a lot more sharing and a lot more 
I don't know, like interaction mm-hmm. with, you know, because thank goodness people are listening. <laughs> well, <laughs> we weren't and, sure. And thank you. And <laughs> so I, I really want to bring forth a lot. And, you know, we've got a really special interview to share with you guys uh, later on in our show. And, and we just wanted to say, you know, let's let's take this to a different level. You know, I, I want this to be more than just, okay, A, it started as the family scrapbook. Yeah. And then it turned into, hey, let's inspire people, yes. right? And now we're in this place of, like, we're being inspired. We're totally you know, being inspired. By all these really great RVers and people dreaming about RVing out there. And we're learning a lot from them, too. That's the thing to me because, you know, you know education is a lifelong thing. And so... F- I know, Kathy's rolling her eyes, but I really believe that. Like, And there's times, you know, we've always said in the beginning when we started doing this, like, learn from our mistakes. But, you know, we learn from you guys giving us ideas of places to go and, and things, you know, seeing trips planning through your eyes. You're giving us ideas on how, how to do our next trip and where to go and what to do and, and apps to use and blah, blah, blah and all that stuff. And it's, it's really neat. I'm really, I'm surprised. How this is all working out? I couldn't have asked for anybody. Well, it just keeps like I know you're saying a journey, and I agree with you. It's it's just evolving, and and we just want to kind of keep growing with it. So, um, you know, we just really wanted to take a moment today to to sort of send that message out to you guys and say, hey, connect with us. I, I know a lot of you, you know, maybe just listen to us um, weekly on Reno Viola Radio, Outdoors Radio, or maybe you're catching us on iTunes, Spreaker, however you're finding us. I'd love to see um, if, if you don't mind us asking you to connect with us also on those other sites that we're on, yeah. like Facebook to tr- Twitter or what have you, because we'd love to hear back from people. Yeah, and if you have ideas about things you want to talk about, just let us know. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's yeah, we're look, we, we love to have new content, but again, it's about sharing. You yeah. know, this is a community, and it's like minded people. We all have this in common. We mm-hmm. all love RVing. I don't care what kind of RV you have, it doesn't matter. We all love to travel this way you know we're not the ones who love to necessarily go to the hotels and sleep in a bed that a thousand other people have slept in nope we want to travel (laughs) in our you know we call it the hotel on wheels hotel on wheels with our family and our pets and you know stuff and our stuff our stuff (laughs) and see the world and not just you know it's great to take a flight somewhere but it's another thing to actually you know just sort of going town to town and meeting other other rvers and 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 checking out North America, it's it's an amazing adventure. So we really would love to, as much as we can, just impart on you guys to like, you know, reach out to us, and you know, we'd love to hear anything you have that you want to talk about. We, you know, like we said, we're going to do. We did this interview today. We're going to share with you on a, a fellow who is a avid RVer and loves the RVing world and kind of gets it. And I want to keep sharing that, you know. And and if you guys have ideas or. I don't think there's any bad idea. No, there's well, there's no such Unless thing as a bad idea. Or <laughs> no, we don't want to know about that. We don't need illegal stuff. But you know, just if you've got a product or I don't know, what do you think? What do you think, Neil? Like, what kinds of things could they give us a call about that we could oh, share on our show? We'd love to hear about obviously products, things that you've uh, experiences you've had too, like places you've gone, different uh, apps you've used. Um, you know, for instance, like TripAdvisor is an app that Kathy and I use quite a bit to see our destinations plan for where we're going to go because I don't know about you, Kath, but the, I think it's the reviews that people give that make TripAdvisor more fun for us. Well, I'm not one to ever go just boom, look at something and say, we should go there. I, you know, even it's just something even I think the way you and I live is like we won't ever do anything unless like we know somebody who yeah. did that thing yeah. or something that had positive reviews. So. We're researchers for when it comes to doing trips because we like to plan it somewhat. Mm -hmm. We aren't able to just sort of whimsically go because we have a business to come back to. So we do a lot of planning ahead of time to make sure we can get the most out of our vacations. So we really love going to these sites. um, But what we're seeing is there's a real evolution happening, too, in the RV world. Yes. You know, a lot of people, uh, when when we were talking to the RV, we went to the RV show and talked to the RV dealer. Um, I think Steve. This, by the way, is a great time, you know, just on the side. Oh, yeah. January through March, great time to get out there if you're looking to buy or upgrade, whatever. Yeah. The deals are on. They're at these shows. you got to go to, you know, these expo shows and things like that. You can look at them up online to find mm-hmm. out where they are and definitely hit those up. Okay, go ahead. Well, I was going to say. <laughs> just no, had to say that. And that's, that's a really good idea. Um, RV sales right now are going strong. And so when that, that means more, there's more people out on the road, more people like us who are out there exploring 
And so a lot of what we're seeing now is um, apps and, and websites and like Good Sam and stuff like that have always been there. But they're now ca- ca- uh, catering more to people like us, helping us find places to go. Well, and- they're just becoming more RV specific. I think that's what you're trying to say. It's just, you know, they're... You know, like TripAdvisor, we love, but it's huge. It's, yes, it's, it's forever, and it's great. It's worldwide. Worldwide, but you know, there's a lot of things emerging that you know, there's you know, people are going, oh, there's a market out there, but there's a lot there more RV uh, folks traveling around, and, and we're looking for specific things. And there's a lot of us that are looking for, you know, we we like to spend a little bit more on these RV resorts that yes. we go to, where we love national parks and all that too. But there's, you know, it's really helpful that. Some people are starting to sort of wake up and go, oh, let's develop this, let's develop that. Well, there's so, a market for it. Now, yeah. You know? So we really want to share that with you guys. Again, this is about a community, and we can all benefit from sharing information. We're all going to have better vacations, better totally. trips if we're all sharing ideas. And, and better lives. Better lives. And that's what it's all about. Absolutely. So that's what we're looking to do. Um, so on that vein, we you know we are going to get to our, our chat with our new friend, Corey, who started... Um, it's myrvdestination.com, and we're going to get to that because he's he's come up with a really great idea. It's a great idea, and it's very specific for our viewers. Yeah, so I think that's going to be really helpful for people, yes. and, and our sharing it with our folks is going to be helpful to them too. Yes. So that's what we're looking for. You know, if, if you guys know anyone or you have products or whatever that, you know, we could help share and, and pass that on. Of course, we're also looking always for advertising for the podcast. You know, that just gets your message out there, too. And we're super duper affordable. Absolutely affordable. And it also helps us to keep doing the show. So that's yeah, that's yeah. another part of it, too. Right. So um, what else do we have going on with the trip? We're all set. We've got so we've got the table together. We've got the, the first aid kit together. I think we're good. I, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. No, we've got to, We still have to wait 28 days. I know. So. So we've got, you know, you've got the um, the dewinterizing set yep. up. We're going to do some videos on that. Um, what else we have going we've got on? Got the batteries charging now. We've got uh, geez. everything's going pretty well. Right now, it's just time. We, you know, and, and a lot of what we do too is we've already Kathy and I. We we know pretty much where we're going to go for the season. So this is another time of year that it's this is a good time of year actually to start planning. So you can make sure you can get your spot that you want if you if it's premium or whatever, or the, the to get to the destination you want to go to. So, you know, if instead of sitting there, and I've seen this happen before where people will go, uh, you know, I think I want to go to this park. I don't know, name it, whatever. Uh, but you can't, you know, they call and they're full. Oh, yeah. Things start they're filling full. up. I, I don't think we're being crazy that we start booking in January no. and February because there's, you know, like we want to get the prime spots and things like that. And uh, you want to make sure you get a spot. Yeah. Things, I think a lot of people, even like for the national parks, things like that too, um, uh, provincial parks, those kinds of things, you know, especially if you're one that wants to go away on Memorial Day. Yeah, and, if you go on holidays. You know, um, Canada Day, 4th of July, whatever. You've got to be thinking ahead to like, you know, and what's great is you're just putting down a deposit for a lot of these oh, places yeah. too. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's something like we've, we still have one more to actually book. We were talking yep. about today. We've booked all of our other trips except for the New York City one, which nope. maybe this week we can call and we're going to be staying. Yes, you can stay in New York City in an RV. Yes. Not, well, e- not exactly not in a- Manhattan. No, but Jersey very, City. Very, very, very close. City, but Stone it's great. Away. And you can actually see Manhattan from your front window, which yes, is nice. Right. So, well, I guess let's not hesitate. Let's just get right to the interview. Again, this is with a, a, a fellow that reached out to us. His name's Corey, and he started a an RV specific site. Very specific. MyRVDestination yeah, it's, it's a great site. Um, well, take a listen, and we'll meet you on the other side. There you go. So we're here with Corey from MyRVDestination.com. It's a new and upcoming website for any RVer that wants to go out and research and find some great RV resorts throughout North America, mostly the United States, right now. But we want to learn a little bit more about this site. So, Corey, tell us how this idea all came about. Uh, two years ago, a year and a half ago, we were uh, I was managing a uh, top-rated RV resort in Utah. Um, and everyone would always come talk to me, you know, and, you know, where's, where's the local attractions? You know, what, what type of stuff would you do, you know, restaurants to go to? And I had all these questions for, you know, our beers. And I just, like, oh, there's got to be something out there. And, you know, 
nothing really came up that was real RV friendly. And so and I just got thinking one day, and it's funny, like, <laughs> it hit me like 4 o'clock in the morning. And <laughs> I just, like, woke up, and I was like, oh, my gosh, Megan, I've got it. And, <laughs> and she's like, oh, I'll just go back to bed. We'll talk about it in the morning. So uh, the idea that hit me back then, it's, as you guys know, it modifies as you go. <laughs> and so back then, it was totally, it was the same concept, but uh, just different, you know, it had different tweaks to it. But now what we're striving to be um, is a place that our viewers can go to see uh, not only like RV resorts in specific areas, but also restaurants, attractions, um, local events. Uh, a big question, because we lived uh, up in gorgeous um, town up in Utah, so it's mountainous, and everyone wanted to go on hikes and, you know, ATV trails. And so, I mean, we do have all that on there. So so this is all user-rated, which is awesome. I mean, because I've, I've, I've been in the industry, and so I know, you know, things can get tweaked by, you know, one person coming in and, and giving you a rating, you know. There's a lot that can go into that. So it basically sounds like what you're looking to do here is really build on this uh, site that you're creating. Not only are you inputting RV locations and, and activities and restaurants and whatnot to do around those particular locations, but you're looking for feedback and input from other folks, other RVers out there, much like you know what people do with like Yelp or uh, TripAdvisor, but this is going to be totally RV focused, totally RV user friendly. So one of our topics today, we've been talking about uh, our show today is all about community and what a community the RV group is so this really adds to that and that you know it, it's going to take a lot of feedback from people and input and and I, it seems like you're looking for folks to you know get on the web page and and add their thoughts and, and ideas and, and help build this so we have a really great site that we can all go to and use yes and that's what we're striving for I mean right now since we're so new we're building that database and what's great about it is our viewers can actually help input that you know if there's a restaurant or an attraction that they would like on there, they can actually input that in there for free. So you can go onto our site. If you're on a computer, it's up in the right-hand corner. It says Submit Listing. And we're changing this so it's a lot more user-friendly. But all they have to do is click that free listing. Um, because there will be free listings right now. And they, if they just click the trial listing, it will walk them through it. You know, you can put in the, uh, the place name, the location. They can describe it. Um, and so it, it's great because if you guys go to Joe's restaurant and it's not on there, but you want to let everyone, you know, all the other viewers know, hey, man, Joe's is awesome. You guys got to check it out. Well, you guys can place it on there, and then everyone else can see it in the world. Uh, that's a great idea. So what are you looking for our listeners and people who are going to use your website? What are you looking for them to get out of the website? So it depends on which side of the, the spectrum they're on. If they're on the RVer side, we would love to, you know, have everyone on there and to start inputting, you know, reviews. And if they don't find the place, they can, you know, they can put that on there. You know, mm -hmm. if, if they don't see a resort or a restaurant or attraction, they can make that listing. That helps us. But then also just reviews. I mean, we want people to review as much as possible and review everywhere they go, you know. We're adding the feature to put in pictures, you know, so if you go and you, you know, you want to take a selfie at a resort or you want to take a picture of your plate of food, you can, you know, you post it on there. That's cool. Um, yeah. And then the other aspect is if RV resorts are listening, um, they can put, they can make their own listing, you know, they can, oh. they can, so they can have a face on our website. Corey, we know that MyRVDestinations.com is free for RVers and users, but say I worked at or owned an RV resort and I wanted to let people know that we're in business and that we're out there, how much would this cost me to be on the website? So it depends on what type of listing you want. I mean, we have a basic listing. It's, it's going to be free, um, and it just gives you the basic. You know, you're going to have a face on there. Um, but then, you know, we go up anywhere from having, you know, being one of our hidden gems, you know, um, you can have a featured listing. There are spots where we can, um, like if you searched, say, Phoenix, Arizona, 
you will be, you know, top three or four, you know, so it can have you so you're more sticky on searches type of. So there's lots of different avenues that we can go on. Um, but like our featured listing, um, it's uh, it's $150 to, to be on one of the featured listings. And there's different, like I said, that's just one avenue that they can do. That's great, Corey. So everybody, check out myrvdestination.com. You can also find them on Facebook and Twitter. And get out there if you can get on the site and share some places you've been to and some activities. That would be really helpful in getting this, you know, really helping and build this site. So thanks again, Corey. Thanks, Corey. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Thanks again to Corey for reaching out to us and giving us a chance to put his product out there. Yeah, and, thank you, Corey. And and hopefully you guys can get on his site and add some input and, and just keep building it. It's going to be great. Everybody, I hope you have a great week. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, uh, what else, Instagram, rvglampingadventures.com, and YouTube. I think that's everything. There you go. See you next week. Fishing, hunting, boating, and the rest of the great outdoors 24-7, 365 on Reno Viola Outdoors Radio. Download the free Reno Viola's Outdoor Radio app or visit wrvoradio.com online.